Congratulations, you are registered. Charlie Brown says, happiness is a warm puppy. He's wrong. Happiness is getting registered without your blood pressure looking like this. Perhaps you have noticed, and we are sure that you have, registration is a hassle. Our registrar plans it that way. He has worked on registration for years and now has it down so that if you can register, you are sure to graduate with honors. You probably have the feeling that you are just another number in the drawer or another crow on the fence post. We would like to smooth out the hassles and give you some insight into resolving some of the difficulties you might find on campus. You may have already noticed that Utah Tech has a lot of parking lots with a lot of cars and a lot of campus police and a lot of ticket books. You can save yourself some trouble if you'll stop by the College Center and pick up a parking sticker. Get one for each car you plan to drive on the campus. They are free and will keep you from getting to know our friendly campus police officer. Also, try to park in the right place that is those areas marked for student parking. A way to avoid some of the parking hassle would be to ride the bus or start a carpool. This is less expensive and who knows who you would meet. Now that you've parked your car, let's get you to class. The campus is a fairly large setting. We have about 105 acres with approximately 35 acres being used. Just to help you get around a little easier, we'll take you on the 25 cent tour. By the time you graduate, you will probably know every nook and cranny. The building where you registered is the Nelson Administration Building, named after President J.L. Nelson, who retired in the fall of 1978. All the college's administrative officers are located here. If you want to say hi to the president, stop by his office. Dr. Kogel likes students and is very interested in seeing your needs met. Well, so much for the formalities. In the administration building, we teach barbering and cosmetology. By the way, you can get a haircut by a cute young co-ed rather than that bald-headed old guy you have been going to. And get your hair done for minimal charge. Come on over. Our students love to experiment on your hair. We haven't had an unsatisfied customer yet. We also teach printing. If you like to prepare good food, our food service program is outstanding. Also, all of our commercial artists hang out up on the third level along with our nursing and operating room technicians. On the second level, we teach all of our secretarial programs. And if you're looking for a date for the weekend, fellas, hang out around in the hall. You might even find someone to type your term paper. The biggest building on campus is the Rampton Technology Building. Just about everyone takes classes here since all the general education courses are taught in this building. Also, this is where the college's library is located. The media center or library is where a large collection of books, magazines, cassettes, film strips, and other material whose purpose is to support and supplement the information taught in the classes on campus. We also have a growing collection of fiction and popular works. Students often use the library as a quiet place to study. You may check out materials from the library. We also teach electronics, architectural drafting, drafting and design, data processing, and all of our business classes from accounting and marketing to real estate and transportation management. If you need to brush up an area, the pre-tech program is available to assist you in brushing up on math, English, or reading skills. They can also help you with passing your GED. If your math or English class is difficult, you may want to stop by the math or English lab for some personal help. If you have ever considered building your own home, or for that matter someone else's, you will really like the facilities of the Construction Trades Building. All of our programs in the building construction, electricity, and brick masonry are taught here. Also, if recreational vehicle mechanics is your thing, it is located in the basement. 
The handicraft of the welding class marks the Metal Trades building. In this fine facility, we also teach welding, air conditioning, and machine shop. Perhaps the funniest part of this building is the division head, Verlaine Zito, all 4 feet 11 inches of her. Finally, the Automotive Trades Building is the home of our auto mechanics, auto body, auto paint, and heavy duty mechanics programs. The facilities are outstanding. The student owned college center proves it is not all work and no play at Utah Tech. It seems we have a few people on campus who are majoring in cafeteria, foosball, and billiards. Those all important and also expensive books and tools can be purchased in the college store. They will also buy books back at the end of the quarter. If you like to lift weights, work on pottery, leather, or any of a group of hobby areas, the college center basement is for you. Shower and locker rooms are available, as are an indoor jogging area. When you need to get away from the rigors of school, this is the place. Well, so much for the 25 cent tour. It saved you a lot of steps and hopefully gave you a little more insight into what is going on around here. While on campus, you need to get to know your student body leaders. While they may look a little tacky, they are representing your interests both with administration and in student activities. Their offices are located in the northwest corner of the college center. You may want to check out our student clubs, such as the tennis club, motorcycle club, sports club, rodeo club, swimming club, canoe club, movie club, ear biting club, pie biting club, school band, and many other winners. There are also the intramural sports program. You will find that our instructors are young, intelligent, and wise. Actually, you are going to find some of the finest instructors we could find to teach you a specialty. They know their subject matter, and if by chance they don't know the answer to your question, they will find out. They are paid to answer your questions. Don't be afraid to ask. They also set an hour aside each day to counsel with you in their office regarding any problems you might have. They also serve as your academic advisor to help you graduate on schedule and to know what classes to take and when. It is the advisor's responsibility to meet with each student to plan programs and schedules, to discuss progress or problems, and to advise further steps to be taken. In addition to the advisors, Counselors are available from the Dean of Students office to assist students who may require more concentrated assistance with educational and career planning or with personal problems. The job placement counselor assists students who desire employment in locating part-time jobs while they are attending college. He also maintains friendly and cooperative relations with labor, management, and the employment office in the area to further assist you in getting that all-important job upon graduation. If you do your part in getting good grades at Utah Tech, you will get a job and stay out of the unemployment line. We know that people need the right training for their are jobs for skilled people, and most of the jobs on the market at this time demand vocational technical education. Perhaps this slide of an astronaut with his bottle of Tang illustrates the point better than anything we might say. To get help with the job, contact Charles Hansen in room 150B of the administration building. The financial aids counselor is responsible for selecting students who are eligible for aid programs and determines the amount each will be awarded. Students in need of financial assistance must complete their paperwork at least 30 days before the quarter begins in order to receive aid for that quarter. A student interested in any of the programs should apply at the financial aids office. The college assists students desiring help in finding suitable housing. The college does not operate any dormitories, and housing is limited to maintaining a registry service and referring students to facilities that appear to meet their needs. 
Now there will be some of you that will receive special recognition by the School for Academic Achievement, which could be for financial reward in the way of a tuition waiver. To make the Dean's List, you need a 3.75 GPA for 12 or more hours. For the President's List, you need a 4.0 for 20 hours or more during the first year and 40 hours or more during the second year. The following general probation policy will be maintained. Students will be placed on a probation if they fail to earn a total grade point average of 1.9 during any quarter. Students will be re removed from probation upon earning a grade point average of 2 or better during the probation quarter. Students may be dismissed if they fail to make a grade point average of 1.9 during the probation quarter. Class changes. There may be time you'll go to your class and it may have been canceled, or some other conflict may come up, so you need to change your classes around. Don't worry. All you do is go to the registrar's office and obtain a change in registration card. Fill it out completely with the class you are adding or dropping. This is permitted during the first two weeks of the quarter. After that, changes must have the written approval of the instructor, advisor, division head or dean, and the registrar. If the class was canceled, there will be no charge for changes. Otherwise, a $1 fee will be charged for processing. If it becomes necessary for students to completely withdraw from the college, they are required to make an appointment with their advisor for an exit interview. Students desiring to withdraw from the college will obtain an application to withdraw from the registrar's office. Applications must be filled out completely and properly signed by the advisor and division head or dean. The application to withdraw must be returned to the registrar's office. No entry will be made on the student's record for withdrawals during the first three weeks of the quarter. Withdrawals after the third week of school will be shown on the official transcript of the student as a WP or a WF. Students withdrawing during the last two weeks of the quarter should be given a grade of E. If you don't officially withdraw, you will receive a UW, unofficial withdrawal, which is equivalent to an E. So it's very important to withdraw properly because this will affect your grade point average. There is student insurance that will cover you from the time you leave home and until you get home from school. If you have an accident or personal injury, please contact your instructor immediately and the division head. They can help you process the necessary paperwork. Speaking about personal injury and blood and gore, we have a Red Cross blood drive about twice a year. We need your blood. If for some reason you may need blood, just contact the Dean of Students and he will be glad to assist you. You will be receiving an identification card soon with your mug shot on it. This can be used for various discounts at movies, stores, etc. Also, here on campus you can use it for various school functions like dances and for the library use. At Utah Tech you are going to find a lot of students doing what they like to do. We feel that it is important to enjoy your work, especially when you consider the fact that you are going to spend 40 plus years in a profession of some type. That is what Utah Tech is all about. People doing what they like to do and being trained to be good and employable at it. A final point. Sometimes students become discouraged in a class or have a problem at home or their car breaks down or they end up in the hospital or one of a thousand other things. Whatever your problem is, don't just cash it in and quit. We want to help you. Come in and see your instructor or counselor. They can help you or guide you to help. We hope you will take advantage of their willingness to help you. At this time, we would like to introduce some people. Judd Morgan is the registrar. He is the man who has made registration a real hassle. But it's better now than ever, so there is hope for the future. Somebody mentioned money. Where can I get it? Richard Shaughnessy is the financial aid coordinator. Drop by and see him. You may be closer to that green stuff than you think. For job information and assistance in full-time or part-time jobs, See Charles Hansen in the job shop. He'll be sure to help you find the right place just for you.
The man behind the scenes for student activity is Curtis Smout. Did I say behind the scenes? Really, he is a very nice person, and he will lend you his ear. Ah, the guy who plays all day long is the recreation director, John Weimer. If you want to participate in fun activities, contact John, and he'll work out the details. <laughs>